Hey, hey, how's it going, my friends? My name is Rock Lupitan, and in today's video, we're going to be going over YouTube outros and the YouTube end screen feature. So stay tuned. Now, why are YouTube outros and YouTube's end screen feature important for your videos and your channel? Well, it's actually very important because once someone watches your actual YouTube video, you're going to want them to watch your other videos or other surrounding content within your channel. And also that gives more chances to get more views, more likes, more comments, more shares, and possibly more subscribers for your channel. So this is a very vital part of your network, or at least the channel that you're trying to grow within YouTube. So now I'm gonna go over my computer really quick and I'm gonna show you exactly how to make a YouTube outro and then use the end feature with YouTube. So let's go over my computer really quick and I'll show you how. All right, my friends, so for starters, once you make your YouTube outro, I'm just gonna show you the template that I use. So for example, the program that I use is Camtasia. You don't necessarily need Camtasia, but if you have any other types of uh, video editing software, that's that's great for me. I use Camtasia, uh, Sony Vegas, and uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. I pretty much just alternate between those three. But um, in terms of screen capturing, I do like Camtasia because of the just, just the plain simplicity of it. But anyways, make sure that your actual template is at least 20 seconds long. So I'm going to show you a really quick clip of what the intro looks like. Okay, so now I'm pretty sure you get the point. But as you can see here with my actual outro, on the very top right over here with YouTube's end feature or end screen feature, you can actually plug in your video on the very top right or pretty much anywhere in the video. And then you could even plug your channel here in the middle and then you could actually put in whatever link that you wanna put out there, whether it be a promotion, uh, if it's some kind of, uh, if it's some kind of like lead magnet that you wanna put out if you're a marketer or maybe you have a Patreon and you want people to support your channel or maybe you just want people to support you and they could pay you through PayPal, right? You could pretty much add whatever you want. Now with uh, YouTube's end screen feature, you can add four features. So it could be four videos or two videos, a subscription and an external link, which is what I personally do with my own channel. But um, as you can see here, that this is the template, the, uh, the actual stock footage that you see in the background with the polygons. Uh, I've actually bought that from, uh, I believe, Video Hive through Envato Market. I'm gonna link that website uh, below in the description. And then other than that, that, that's really it. It's very simple. So make sure that your actual content is at least 20 seconds long because that's pretty much what the, the end screen notation's at. And once you make this, uh, plug it in your actual YouTube video that you plan on doing. So for example, if you have like a five or 10 minute video, just plug your outro within that video and then once you're done with that and you upload the video on YouTube, I'm gonna show you really quick on how to use YouTube's end screen feature uh, within the YouTube video editor. So now we're gonna go over there really quick. All right, so now we are here on YouTube and all you have to do is go to the very top right and then go to Creator Studio. And then once you see your actual videos, just check on any one of your videos and click edit. And then go to the very top portion of the screen where it says end screen and annotations go ahead and click on that and then here we are so for example I've already done my actual YouTube outro with end screen feature and as you can see I have the two right front videos my subscription button and then my external link to my free course so here's what it looks like let me just show you an example or click on this Yeah, it's very, very simple. All you really have to do is just click on add element and then you could pretty much choose to what you want to do. So for example, with the YouTube videos, you can choose your most recent upload, the best for the viewer, depending on what they've watched. And then you could even choose a specific video or a playlist. So it's very, very simple. 
and then you could even add your own subscription button right there in the middle and that's really it so it's very very simple and as you can see right here the maximum that you could do for your actual end screen is 20 seconds so that's why earlier I made sure that my video or at least the ending portion of my video was 20 seconds so that it would fit and it would sync properly uh, with YouTube's end screen feature so yeah that's really it it's very very simple hopefully you got a lot out of this and uh, hopefully you use this for your channel because it is going to help your channel immensely on keeping that traffic and that audience within your channel so that's really it thanks for watching all right my friend i really appreciate you for watching this video if you like content like this feel free to give us a thumbs up and also comment and share the video as well and also my question of the day for you is what do you plan on using the youtube end feature for your actual videos how do you plan on actually using it and also if you want to learn more about marketing preferably affiliate marketing or internet marketing and you want to learn how to start businesses online and start uh, actually producing an income for yourself then i encourage you to click the link below or click towards the end of the video because i did make a free starter course for you to look over where it pretty much breakdowns everything step by step and other than that that's pretty much it my friend so i really appreciate for watching the video and i will see you on the next one